Okay, we're in an ag field and we're looking at some pocket gopher sign uh, that shows us that gophers are active in this area. Now the pocket gopher burrows underground, so they're actually making a tunnel underground to uh, find food because they eat the underground parts of plants. So what happens when they dig a tunnel, they have to put the soil somewhere. So one of their options is to bring it up on the surface. So they, you get these telltale signs, these mounds, that tell you you've got pocket gophers in the area. You can tell how fresh those are, and, and when you're doing any gopher control, you want to go where the gopher mounds are fresh because that indicates that's where the, uh, the gopher is feeding and active in that area. So here's a, here's some mounds. Now, one of the things that you can look at, if you look very closely at a mound, you can see the plug because if you think about it, what happens, the gopher digs a tunnel up to the surface, they push the dirt out, and then they want to close up their tunnels. They always keep their tunnels closed. So they plug that burrow. And you can uh, see on most of the mounds, you can see the plug, and, and we'll show you that in a minute. One of the things you have as a probe, because we need to get down into the gopher tunnel. Now, some people say, well, they made a mound there. There's a tunnel connected to that. Just dig down from that. Yes, you can do that. Sometimes it works, but it's not that easy. Often that plug will be six or eight inches of solid soil, so you can't really find where it goes. So what we use is a probe, some kind of a device so that we can find that underground tunnel. So if you think about it, we're probing into the ground. When we hit a tunnel, it's going to give a little bit. So you're going to feel a give, and that'll tell you you've hit the tunnel. Now, you say, well, that's going to be kind of a hit or miss opportunity. If you look at the gopher sign, if you look at the mounds, it can help guide you to where the tunnels will likely be. So if, if you look at most gopher mounds are kind of horseshoe shaped, so stand with that horseshoe in front of you with the plug right at your feet, back up six, eight, ten inches, and then start probing. And that's one hint to find those tunnels. Also, if you have two mounds that are side by side, often there's a tunnel in between them. So those are just a couple of hints. But really, it's going to just take some time and a little bit of practice for you to figure out how to find the gopher tunnels. So let's see if we can find one. Um, so we go here. There's a, a group of mounds here. Here's one. The plug is right here. You can barely see it, and um, so it, it looks to me like the mound should be right over here someplace. Okay, so in that one there was a little bit of a give, so uh, then we need to get a shovel and we need to dig that up and find the mounds or the uh, tunnels and you'll find a tunnel going in both directions. What we have is we have a tunnel and one tunnel is going this way and one tunnel is going that way. So we have two tunnels. Uh, we just happen to intersect them right at the corner where they turn. Now sometimes when you're digging you, you collapse the burrow and so sometimes they may go off in another direction and you just don't see it. It's, yeah, in fact, there it is, right there. Okay, so we have now three tunnels. <laughs> one tunnel going in this direction, one tunnel going in this direction, and one tunnel going in that direction. So, now, if, if you were to just leave this hole like this, within a few hours, maybe even 20 minutes or so, the gopher will come back and will fill this with soil. So that's one way you can tell if you've got active pocket gophers in an area. If you're wondering, well, maybe they left, which doesn't happen too often, but um, you could leave that and you would see that, yes, you have an active gopher. 